We got one up there. Yeah. We can be, and I, I love, what was your name, sir? Brian. Brian, thank you so much for that. I love that, and one of the things that I do is I play around with that with some of my athletes. There's research, actually recent research. You know, you have a lot of people who run with music on, and they actually did some research where they, they had about 300 different athletes, and they tested them over about an eight-month period on how they performed running with music in their ears and then running without. And believe it or not, a lot of people perform better running without music. And this is why I say I mix the two. Some people, to get running, only run with music. To get them to actually do the, the task, it's hard to get them to do it without. So kind of using that as the training wheels. We're not going to use training wheels for forever. But getting some of my athletes to, hey, put on your favorite 10-song playlist and use that to get moving. And once we build up those muscles and we can learn how to run and we don't dread getting on the road or getting on that path, then we can play around with taking that away. And I feel like it's the same way with this. Using media to guide you in maybe a two minute meditation where they're telling you, this is how I want you to breathe or this is how I want you to think. And getting you to do some of those things, getting those muscles up so you don't have to use the five pound weights anymore we can go and you start using the 10. So thank you. Thank you for that. I, I, I love that.